glory, glory. So let's just lift our hands to him with our eyes. Sing hallelujah this evening. Sing hallelujah. For the Lord God Almighty reigns. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Are you Lord? Are you Lord? Oh, are you Lord God? Oh, mighty, worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. You are whole. One more time, let's sing it to the Lord. Oh, holy, holy are you Lord. Are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Oh, oh yes. Amen. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb who is able. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have your Bibles, I would like you to join me to the book of Psalms. Psalms 100. Amen. I hope you came in with your shouting shoes this evening. My. The reason this why. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. May the Lord add blessing to the reading of his word. May we just bow our heads in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence this evening, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the past services that we've had, Lord. Leading up to this last service, Lord. And even now, Father, we've come in for the last push. For the last pool, Lord. Lord, we ask that 
You will help us, Lord, this evening. Give us the strength in our bodies we need to give you the glory and adoration that is due your holy name, Lord. Lord, we ask that your presence will come down even as the blessings go up, Lord. As the praises go up, Lord, may your blessings come down, Father, Lord. Lord, we open our hearts this evening to receive from you, Lord. Lord, if there be any feeble one in our midst, we ask that you strengthen them, Lord. We ask, Father, that you heal the sick, Lord. Open the eyes of the blind, Father, Lord. Lord God, may we see signs, wonders, and miracles in this place this evening, Father, Lord. Even in the prayer line and everything that will be done, the preaching of the word, the specials that will be sung, Lord, we commit everything into your hand. We ask, Father, that you take complete control. For in Jesus Christ's name, we ask it. Amen. Hallelujah. How do you feel this evening? You feel strong this evening? You feel you can go for one more this evening? Amen. Turn around. Tell your brother. Brother, how do you feel? I feel all right, sister. How do you feel? I feel all right. Brothers, how do you feel? I feel all right. There is no condemnation in my heart. Oh, brothers, how do you feel? Brothers, how do you feel? Oh, brothers, how do you feel? Oh, there is no condemnation in my sisters. Oh, sisters, how do you feel? Sisters, how do you feel? Oh, sisters, how do you feel? Oh, there is no condemnation in my heart. Oh, brothers, how do you feel? Oh, brothers, how do you feel? Oh, brothers, how do you feel? Oh, there is no condemnation in my heart. Oh, sisters, how do you feel? Oh, sisters, how do you feel? Oh, sisters, how do you feel? Oh, there is no... One more time. Oh, brothers, how do you feel? Oh, sisters, how do you feel? Brothers, how do you feel? Oh, there is no condemnation in my heart. Amen. You've given that testimony this evening. So there will be no statue spirits in the house. There will be no diseases in the house. There will be no feeble body in the house. Amen. Let's sing this song. No devil can hold my body down. Anybody believe that this evening? No devil, no tiredness, no malice, no odds, no pressure, no depression. Nothing, nothing can hold me down. Hallelujah. Oh, no demon can hold my body down your body down can never 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 can never 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 oh no demon can hold my body down oh no sickness can hold my body down, your body down, can never, 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 can never, 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 
Oh, no sickness can hold my body down. Oh, no depression can hold my body down. Your body down. Oh, can never, never, never. Can never, never, never. Oh, 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 no depression can hold my body down. Oh, no sickness can hold my body down. Your body down. Oh, can never, never, never. 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 Oh, no sickness can hold my body down. Oh, no demon. The walls of Jericho has come down by the voice of the seven thunder trumpet of the Jubilee. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Like the Roman said, he said, you will see the revival, but you will not taste of it. But that's not for you. We have seen it. We are tasting of the revival. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You have not living here empty-handed. God has already rewarded you because you've taken the book from the mighty angel. May the Lord richly bless you. Brother, Brother Martin want me to read a prayer request of thanksgiving. Then he will pray over it. Praise the Lord at this time, sister. Promise the thanking of the prophet to be in this convention and wave after wave of the Holy Spirit in this service. May the Lord God bless his servant wave after wave. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You believe it? It's been the greatest vindication of omnipotence. We've seen it in this meeting. By the word going forth in the soul of the people and the people reaction. It's a vindication of omnipotence reaching your soul. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Then uh, uh, another Thanksgiving bread, John Akujobi said, Thanking God for journey mercies granted me and for His healing power upon my life. He said, When the power of this church rises, it will raise the brethren. The power is going into you. The devil thinks you've, not, you've got this. It's a lie. You've got the power of God seated in your soul. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And, uh, he promised to KK. Navy Church, pray that God who is rich in mercy will deliver my people in the so-called inspiration. I am the Holy Ghost. Praise the Lord. In this meeting, the walls of Jericho has come down. Brother Toby said. So we thank God for that. One deliverance for people caught interpretation. Then uh, Brother John Kujobi, that God started a life in Life in my life, wonderful life in the, in the life of Sukudada Akujobi is finishing. That's his request. So we have two requests here: the deliverance for various interpretation, and also Brother Akujobi, the work he has started in Sukudala Akujobi, God will finish it. And lastly, a prayer request from Sister Faith Dodia. I want the bride of Jesus Christ to kindly join me in prayer for 
for God to totally disintegrate every flesh itself from my life and grant me the token that I can leave this convention a changed person. Even as you are saying it, God is converting your desire into a reality. So that God is doing it already. Don't we are we are we are tying up or doing it in your life. Then also I think he has a God to grant each one of us a safe journey. So while the precious pastor prays over the very present people, shall we pray? Most gracious heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity given to us to approach unto the throne of mercy and to make known unto you the needs in our lives, the requests that we have and the desires of our hearts. Father, we want to thank you for our gathering, for this conversion. We are grateful unto you for your servant at the church that you have used to host this conversion. Thank you for all that they are putting to make this conversion a success. Father, we are praying, oh God, it is a great contribution to your kingdom. We pray that you reward them abundantly here on earth, even in the world to come. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the vessels that you have used to bring the word of life unto us. Lord Jesus, we are asking for them. Just like Paul said, he said, Lord, I want to bring my body under subjection so that after I preach, I will not be a castaway. May you help your servants, oh Father, that after they are ministered unto us, they live a life worthy of this gospel and example before us, oh Father. Grant it, Heavenly Father. Lord, their contribution, Lord, to our spiritual life, to our spiritual growth here on earth, may be remembered that day where you shall reward your servants for the job that they have done on the surface of the earth. Grant it, Father. We that they have labored over in studying, in praying, in preaching, and living a life of an example before us, Father, May we all be together in eternity in the name of Jesus Christ. Our Father, we thank you because you have taught us in your word. You said whatsoever is our heart desire. When we ask in prayer, we should believe that we have received and then shall we have them. Thank you for the request your children are bringing, appreciation of your blessings. You are changing us from glory unto glory in this meetings, O oh God, as each of your servant can to deliver as you give unto them to give unto us. We are very grateful. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for those asking, O oh, Father, Lord, for more of you, that you want the baptism of the Holy Ghost, that it might be a church person. We have been made to know, O oh God, that you don't, you don't make halfway Christians. Lord, where you save, you save completely. We ask for total deliverance for him in the name of Jesus Christ. May the power of your resurrection come upon him, O oh God. May you change him, O oh Father, for your glory and for your honor. May it be, Lord, a true witness of your resurrection all the days of his life. Our master, before this request were put in paper, thou knowest what they are. You said before we ask, you have already know what our needs are. We pray over them, O oh God, that whose who, your ears and opens and uh, yeah, you 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 ask you hear the prayers of your children and you answer. May you grant the desires of the heart of everyone in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we cannot but commit each and every one of us into your hands. There is none of us without a need. Our needs may differ from person to person, but they are needs anyhow. You have promised you will supply all our needs according to your riches in glory. While you are supplying the needs of your people, do not pass any of us by. Thank you, our Father. Blessed be thy holy name. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So whatever prayer request it is, is already done. The victory is won, and that battle is over. Amen. If we can just have the brothers come forward for the evening prayer commercial. Let's sing this song.
knows my name. He knows my every thought. He believes it. The Bible tells us that he has numbered the head and the crown of our head. So none of them can fall without him knowing. So he, he can take so much detail to that. And imagine you as a whole person. Amen. Let me pray. Father, oh, I have a father, oh, so glad to have a father, he calls me his own, and he'll never, he'll never leave me, hallelujah, oh, yes, oh, yes, no If Sister Annabelle and Olivia can just come forward for their song. My name. Sister Annabelle and Olivia. He knows my end. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He sees it here in every form. Give the Lord some praise. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. These, this evening, our sisters have a song titled, Come Off His Garment. Amen. So just sit back, relax, and be in the spirit.
Hallelujah. Hmm. Ma. Let's just continue with a song. Get a glimpse of your mercy, Lord. Let's wave our hands to him. I will be made whole. Oh, if I can touch the hand of my good heart and Lord. Hallelujah. I know this issue will disappear if I can catch a glimpse of your mercy, Lord. I will be, I will be made whole. Hallelujah. God bless you, sisters. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to let everybody here know if you have an issue, if you have a problem in your life, you don't have to wait to get to the prayer line. You can begin to receive your healing right now. Even before that prayer line, if there are some wheelchairs in here, we'll begin to pack them up. Amen. All it takes is faith the size of a mustard seed. Just believe and then God. Amen. If we can have Sister Lily Akujobi come up for her song. Let's sing this song. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. You feel that way this evening? Because he lives. Just wave your hands to him. I can face tomorrow. Because he lives.
of who he is. Oh, yes, oh, yes. All there is, all. Oh, because I know. Oh, behold, my future. And life is but a One more time, just wave your hands all over the building. Oh, because he lives. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I can face tomorrow because he lives. Because he lives. Hallelujah, hallelujah. All my fears are gone. All fears are gone because, because I know, I know, I know, hold my future. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Amen. This evening, our sister has a song titled, No Never Alone. Amen. He promised never to leave you. Amen.
sister. <laughs> He'll never leave you. He'll never forsake you. Amen. You believe that this evening? So no matter what test you face, no matter what trial you go through, no matter what challenge you may be, he'll never leave you. He said he'll send the comforter. And the comforter is already here. Amen. Do you love the, do you love the Lord this evening? Turn around. Tell your brother. Tell your sister. Hallelujah. sing this song, fire, fire, fire fall on me. We need the holy fire, the fire of the Holy Ghost to descend in this building this evening. We burn off every, every disease, every excess flesh, whatever it may be. Oh, fire, 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 fire fall on me. Oh, fire, 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 fall on me. Oh, hallelujah, precious fire, fall on me. Oh, hallelujah, precious fire, fall on me. We sing it, fire, yeah, fire, 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 fall, fire, fall on oh, me. Yeah, fire, fire. Fire fall on me, oh, hallelujah, oh, precious song. Fire fall on me, oh, hallelujah, oh, precious song. Fire fall, oh, we sing it, fire, yeah, fire, fire, fire fall on me, oh, fire, 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 fire fall, fire fall. Shout out the king is in the camp. Oh, 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 oh,
Feel the fire in the building today. Glory. Woo. Hallelujah. Ah. Amen and amen. I don't want to get you tired this morning, this evening. Woo. Let's save this energy after the service. Hallelujah. Woo. Woo. Glory. Shout of the king is in the camp. Anything can happen. Hallelujah. Give us the key for children you ought to have been. When the Lord saved you. Did the Lord save you? Has he redeemed you? Has he called you out of all ages? Hallelujah. Oh, children you ought to have been. When the Lord saved you. Oh, children you ought to have been. When he gave you. Oh, you know he takes me, he turned me from the dead spot on the higher ground. Children, you ought to have been there when the Lord, children, you ought to know, children, you ought to have been there when the Lord, children, you ought to have been there when he gave me victory. He saved you. Hallelujah. 
of Medved, the Tuna of God, which is what we do. Thank you. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. We have a spirit without measure. Amen? I repeat. We have a spirit without measure. We have it, you and I, the brother, brother I'm saying here, we have it by measure. Now, what if you got out the, uh, what, what he says here? Now, what if you go out from here, pick up a spoonful of water out of the ocean? Well, that's what Jesus had in the whole ocean. But you and I got a spoonful. Jesus, let's take it back to Jesus. Listen, as a child, let's take it back to Jesus. From that ocean, he took out a spoonful of that ocean water. bucket full of the ocean water. And let's say another mighty creature is there in here. He jumps in of the same ocean water. Praise God. You will see what he does. Listen closely. Amen. listening now. So that's the measure we are talking about now. So the measure to you of the Holy Spirit, the measure to the other person of the Holy Spirit, these are all it. They are all in measure. Now listen closely. Amen. But if you take that spoonful of water and take it down to the laboratory, to your brother. The same chemical that is in the entire the same chem chemical that is in the entire ocean is in that spoonful. come down like a rushing wind. Did you notice there was a pillar of fire? But did you notice he separated himself from that pillar of fire, divided himself amongst his people, and cloven tongues of fire swept upon each of them. God separating himself in his name. No wonder he spoke. Wherever two or three are gathered in my name, I will be in their midst. If two will agree upon anything and ask, I will give it to you. Hmm? What is this guy? What is that? And a little fire here. And a little fire here. Each one of you is a part of God. When we come together, when we come together, which is the body of Christ uniting, God separating himself, he did 
same path to me, and path to you, and path to your next fellow. So we can all live and have eternal life. Do you believe that? So, you cannot come to tell me that you are that Holy Ghost. You are not the Holy Ghost. I am not the Holy Ghost. But a part of the Holy Ghost is in you. A part of the Holy Ghost is in me. Are you following me? Only in Jesus dwell the fullness of this Holy Ghost. And let me say it from this mountain top. Because each time these people pray, when they want to launch whatever whatsoever they want to launch, they will come upon on top of the mountain to come and give this. And I'm staying on top of this mountain to declare that he's still the same yesterday, today, and forever. No man is the Holy Ghost. Only Jesus Christ is the Holy Ghost. Let's give the Lord a clap of praise. fullness of the revealed word. And as we are gathered here, the evidences show that we are one body. Somebody say amen. amen. Praise God Almighty. Hallelujah. Before I move forward, I have a few things where we need to do.
Haji Sadir Kodi Nomor 10 Kota Jelis Di mana ada Menuh Rayan Susu Di Majidun Kudus Wasi Kota Jelis And many of us We have had to go through Over and over and over Together with some other people Like in another area In the jungle But I never got the opportunity once And what we do as a body is this We have our All public address system On the pick up On the platform So we move from one place to another But we need the partnership of the ministers and pastors in every locality. So first if we come to anything here, and we pray to one, we have some people gathered together themselves in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And there's no church here they can take them to, then the effort is useless. So that is where we need your partner. And uh, all that is all that we needed is just you get an open place. And uh, maybe if it is necessary to get uh, the permission from the state government or local government, then we come there, mount our public address system on the platform. Then we preach. We have series of a track. Yes, that are mainly on the message of the hour. Then there are places where you hear the telephone number of the old pastors and they listen and will pass out those tracks. Then whosoever among the people that bring witness to the so touched by God, they can contact that uh, pastor. And we also have a megaphone, a portable one, that we are giving to any church that is ready to do that. Then those track as well, if you feel that you are in need of them, our website address are there, the email address are there, you can just contact the church, they can send it to you by God's grace. But my prayer is, may the Lord the best on you, may the Lord the best on me. Thank God bless you all. God bless you. Anywhere you go, you advertise. Do 
you believe that? This is the time that I tell you this. Because you are not here in your own power. The doctors are now open their hands to receive your good news of salvation. The major attacks are being very, very interrupted. Jesus is not here. And those are attacking you, then they will not want to talk about you. the good news to the world. The cross of Christ. Maybe I also see that the locality to publish a lot of good uh, within the city concerning this issue. But I was not ashamed to have this done. And I have a question for you. I say, Lord, the news. And I want to tell you that that was for Peter there by sharing the message by dressing like Jesus. I want to tell us God cannot be mocked. I want to tell us is a separate God. I'm not talking about people who are seeking salvation as an inspiration by divine revelation. This is not what I'm talking about. Only God is a separate God. You have no right to separate yourself from your brother or your sister. Or separate yourself from every evil. That is the command of God. Do you understand what I'm saying? God is still God. Amen. Amen. So tonight is prayer night. They call it prayer line. But I believe that there are so many people that can hold on to that negative thing and say, what's going to happen? Whether you pass through the line, you may be at your seat, ministry. God has sent his ministry to cast out. And how many people have been delivered by the ministry of Brother Johnny Conte? I want to encourage you tonight. Brother John, Any negative thing anybody brings to you. Brother Abraham was praying for a woman. And the woman came on a prayer line. And she was coming because a man that prophesied to be or professed to be a, a minister, a pastor, her own pastor, had already told her 
that she's a witch. And when she came before the prayer line, a black handkerchief was dangling around the woman. This was in the vision. He was seeing the woman and seeing everything. And then he said, that's a lie. Satan is a liar. Each time he tries to get people to say things that are not of you. To make you feel hot. And sometimes you get hot, then he got you. Because you, he knows you are hot. Then he crosses his legs and he, he smiles. When such a thing comes, Abraham said, don't you ever receive any negative thing any man says to you. You send it back to the sender. So tonight we are packing every contrary, everything negative, which the enemy had wrought. I don't care whatever it is. We are sending it back to sender. In Jesus name. So I have the pleasure to invite to the pulpit brother Johnny Conte from Freetown, Sierra Leone. Hallelujah. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. <laughs> Brother Johnny is giving me another number. And he wants to come on the pulpit. He wants me to sing the song which we have sung here before. Boya Omema. Boy, I remember, 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 boy, I remember. Heaven tonight. 
Father, we are most grateful to be called sons of God. We did not deserve that. But your predestinated will, you sent us a prophet to drop down unmerited predestinated grace as our wedding band that we had been engaged to Jesus Christ. And Father, we are looking for a consummation. Father, may you bring down the Holy Ghost tonight. That's the, that's the main issue. If we can only be filled for those who are looking for God tonight, Jesus. I pray there, Lord, you look upon the people tonight and give them, Lord, the desires of their hearts. Let those who are sick receive their portion of healing tonight. Those who need the Holy Ghost, give them, God, their portion of the Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost is the branch in every tense. We thank you, Father, for tonight. May you bless our heart, Lord, in this fellowship. We thank you for all in Jesus' name we pray. And the church says, Maybe sit there for a little bit. Thank you very much. Well, I'm excited tonight. I am feeling good. And when I feel good, the Holy Spirit feels good. I'm really feeling good tonight. I'm high up on my spirit. Thank God for the atmosphere and the meetings. Amen. I want to thank God for all the ministers. I want to also thank Brother Charles for hosting his meetings. Thank you for your burden of love, for your little contribution to the kingdom of God. May God bless you and your family and your church. Amen. So greetings from back home, the little church in Freetown. We thank God for the grace of God. And the church asked me to give the convention their greetings. And on behalf of my wife, Sister Sarah, sweet Sister Sarah, we're happy to be in Enugu. We love you. And we thank God for this time of fellowship. I'm trusting God that God make this moment an eternal moment with God. So we can meet God face to face. I, I know the challenges many of us face. We believe. We believe. See, but Brown has to preach adoption. And the first part of adoption is to place the position, in, the believer in position. See, because scripturally, all things are supposed to be possible to them that believe. So, belief should make way for possibilities. So, that takes a positioning. And so, Brother Branham had to be given a voice. And that voice was an angel. A manifestation. To make belief possible. And that should be our position. When you say, I'm healed, you are healed. Because that's the only way belief grows. If you keep believing and nothing is happening, it kills your faith. Many people get the backslide. Because many are Christians for so long. And they've never had a miracle from God. They don't even know what a miracle is. And that makes it hard for your faith to grow. And like the Holy said this morning, you cannot function properly as a Christian without the supernatural. We've tried to underplay it. But you can't underplay the supernatural. Because that's your real origin. And what becomes spiritual faith to your heart must, must first be a mental faith. Because perception is reality. Virtuality is reality. So all your, what you call virtual is really real. Because man is always a product of his imagination. So what you conceive in your mind is what you become. So if your mental faith is right, 
it affects your physical as well. So we thank you for all the preachers. So I'm trusting God by the time this service is over, you will experience the greatest miracle. A change of being. A change of life. Not just a struggling Christian, but one that knows I met God face to face. Jesus changed my life. You can pinpoint your miracle and where it's coming from. Can somebody say amen to that church? And when you put your finger to your miracle, the devil cannot deny that. Because God is always there to back it up. That is my bath. That's where I'm coming from. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Somebody shout hallelujah. Praise God, amen. So shall we stand to our feet? I want to thank God for Brother Eke Eke. The convention was open with prophetic cottons. That this, this meeting, nothing will overshadow you than the Holy Ghost. I believe God will honor that tonight. I want to also thank God for all the ministers, the things they preach. I believe all the previous meetings was to raise your faith up into the spirit. Because once you get into the spirit, you begin to function normally. Then to be a Christian becomes normal. You don't have to struggle anymore. Because you are back in position as a believer. Can somebody say amen to that church? So therefore, let's turn to the Bible tonight. I have a little subject and a little thought. I won't stay very long. Sons of God coming back. But the Theo said, manifested sons won't step out by faith. So then I'll be stepping out by faith. But I have one inspiration from Exodus chapter 7. God told Moses, He said, See, I've made thee a God unto Pharaoh. So tonight, let's turn to first of all the book of um, Romans chapter 8. Praise God, hallelujah. Thank you, brother Olu, for this morning. Brother Dilly, that was a newly discovered gift. God, God bless you, brother. I appreciate your taste in the word of God. Amen. Brother Theo, thank you very much. Bringing us back to the covenant, confirmation of the covenant. Amen. Romans chapter 8. I'll read from verse 19. I would like to see if I will just continue on from where Brother Olu left off this morning. You know, Brother, Brother Olu is a, is, a, is a good player. He knows how to lay the ball right on your feet. I think it's like Messi and somebody else. He just knows how, how to lay the ball on track. So he has a way of, he has a way of bringing the word. And it just makes it easier to score goals. So, so tonight, it makes it easier for me to score goals tonight. And we're going to score some goals tonight. Can somebody say amen? Hallelujah. Glory. Romans chapter 8. It reads on this wise. He said, for the honest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly. But by reason of him who had subjected the same in hope. But because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the chain of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which are the first fruit of the Spirit. Even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting for the adoption to wait the redemption of our body. Hallelujah. I want to quickly give you a scripture, lest I forget, from Psalms chapter 16, verse 5. Keep it in your mind. Psalm 16, 5 says, The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. 
thou maintainest my Lord. The Lord is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. And let's quickly turn to the book of um, Exodus. This was God calling Moses for a commission. Sending Moses, giving Moses a commission to go to, to Egypt. Exodus chapter 7. Hallelujah. Praise God. So I'm coming there tonight. Amen. And the Lord said unto Moses, See, I have made thee a God to Pharaoh, and Aaron thy brother shall be thy prophet. Thou shalt speak all that I command thee, and Aaron thy brother shall speak unto Pharaoh, that he sent the children of Israel out of his land. And I will harden Pharaoh's heart, and multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. So God was telling Pharaoh how he would do it. Because we understand when God called Moses to send Moses forth, Moses had a challenge. His challenge was taking back this message is not a problem. But how would they believe me? How will they know you sent me? How will they believe me? Amen? And so God had to give Moses two signs. So the giving of the two signs was for the people to believe Moses. Because the principle of faith that the angel took with the Branham, if you can make the people to believe you, that's a principle. That's why you see Branham will say, people will go to witch, doc witch doctors, they will, they will be healed. Like in the days of the Beatles, people on wheelchairs, step into their show and they walked out of those riches and they came back to the Branham and asked the Branham you said only God heals how come people go to the Beatles in their show and they walk out of their riches because it's the faith because faith works by a law and every law is only guided by a principle so if the principle of faith is right God will always meet you on that principle. Can somebody say measure that? Can somebody say measure that church? Praise God, amen. So God told Moses, I've made thee a God unto Pharaoh. He said, but Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you. Come on. Sorry, please. Okay. Okay, so he said, I will hearken Pharaoh's heart and will multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. But Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you that I may lay my hand upon Egypt and bring forth mine armies and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great judgment. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I stretch forth mine hand upon Egypt and bring out the children of Israel from among them. May God bless this word tonight. May be seated. Amen. So as I just said tonight, I want to see if I can come up from wherever the other left of the night. And I pray God gives us faith tonight to receive a one from the Lord. Uh, why do we like to go back to Genesis account? Because that's our origin. We will never know our beginning, our true beginning, until we go back to Genesis. And Brother Branham took us even beyond that. And took us back to before things actually began. Before time began. Before angels were even created. Before the earth was even created. Before there was a heaven. Brown said, we existed. And that gives our existence our eternal past and eternal quality. And on, until that is drilled back into your heart, it will be hard for you to have faith. Because the Holy Ghost doesn't make you a son. The Holy Ghost only comes to confirm your sonship. 
because your sonship was something God did back in his mind it took a prophet to identify where we come from then when the seven seal books came with an abstract Bram said the abstract actually means something that could search it way all back to the beginning so, 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 our, so our beginning in real, in real sense before even God started saying let there be we already existed and Brother Branham tried to give quality to, to our thoughts in God because everything you see on the face of the earth was actually a thought in God because because of God's omni signs God knows everything Bram says even how many times the fly will bat its eye that's how complex God's mind is all these things going on in the Middle East, all these ISIS boys, God knows about them. You see, but that thought did not make up an attribute. Lucifer was also in God's mind. All the angels that fell, they were in God's mind. But when a thought becomes an attribute, that's different thoughts. So Malachi for connected our thinking in God as an attribute. Meaning that we are not just like thoughts that exist in God's mind, but our thought was God's very nature. That's really who we are. That's my identity. Can somebody say amen to that? You have a choice to either believe that or don't believe that. That is the eternal section of the book. Bram opened the books of life. There is a regular section in this message. I've had Pentecostals preach many things that Bram preach. But they are preaching from the regular section. Just the regular life. But in this same mess, there's an eternal section. A section in God that did not begin. The prophet connected you there. That is your connection. Let me see that. And only Buddha Branham could do that. Only the prophet. Now listen. Like but the daily was bringing for justification justification Bram says you never seen the scripture says we all have seen if you if you take that scripture from the humanistic your reasoning will tell you all the mistakes you've made how do you believe you did never really seen but in the holy ghost because only god didn't sin so he that is born of God cannot sin. Oh, once lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. Let me see that. So, our origin even goes beyond the Holy Ghost. Bram said the Holy Ghost is even a temporal gift he said the real gift is your soul 
that existed before there was a spirit. And you see, but the Bonham gave quality to our soul. Like the Olu spoke this morning on spirit. We were not just spirit. But you see, in our spirit soul was this thing called theophany. A theophany gives quality to your soul. It frees that soul from deception and falsehood. Because a theophany knows all things. And only God knows all things. That is a category. The angels that fell, that was deceived in heaven. They were a spirit that came out from God. But that spirit, the nature of that spirit, they did have a theophany. If they had a theophany, they would not have been deceived. They would have known that Lucifer is not God. So even though they were spirits, but the quality of their nature, the quality of your nature, of your soul, is the same as the nature. So the quality of a man's spirit is what his soul knows. Can somebody say amen to that? Can somebody say amen to that? So Brother Branham said, where we once lived, in our souls, we lived in this thing called theophany. He said, when God created man, he created him a theophany. That is why Adam could not be deceived. Because Abraham says, Adam's soul, though it was a city form, but it was a theophany. You can't deceive a theophany. You cannot lie to a theophany. The theophany content in your soul is what frees your soul from falsehood and from deception. Can somebody say, imagine that church? That is your class. Can you see that? Can you see that? You see, man, God, man had two consciousness. There's a lower self-consciousness. That was Adam's two seven man. The humanistic consciousness. But Adam had a higher self. So Adam's ultimate was not just earthly. What really he was went way back beyond his earthly limitations. Because Adam had a self up in heaven. Which is what we call Genesis 1 to the 6. That was his God self. So when God put Genesis 1 to the 6, Abraham came to show the connections. Because before Adam even became, before God formed him from the earth, Abraham said Adam's theophany was already moving the garden of Eden. Even after God formed him from the earth, his theophany was already there. Abraham said it was leading the animals like the Holy Ghost leads the church today. But Adam was not still a conscious, he was not still, he was not still, he didn't have consciousness of the higher self. So God had to make the connection. And when the connection came on Adam, he became a living soul. Then he had a higher self consciousness. Then he knew he was not only a humanistic person, even though in his body he was made in the image of animals, but there was something in him higher than his lower self. And that was the God path. That was the God created path. Can somebody say hallelujah? So you see, when Adam fell, when Adam fell, Adam lost consciousness of this higher self. You see, and that's why you need the Holy Ghost. Because if the Holy Ghost doesn't come, you can only see yourself relative to the humanistic. That's your height, that who you are. But there's another self of you that is in the spirit. Can somebody say hallelujah? These things that Malachi 4 is speaking about. This God part, you are a part of God. You are a gene of God. You need to experience that other part. That part that will lead you to God. If that part is not there, there is no connection. You are still human. I'm saying you can only live in the humanistic realm. 
Can somebody say amen to that church? And that's why the Holy Ghost is so important. But the only give a quote this morning. When the Holy Ghost comes to your hand, you become a twofold being. Any man that receives the Holy Ghost knows a being is stepping to you. Another man is stepping to you. Hallelujah. Praise God. It was not just a spirit. When I received the Holy Ghost, a being is stepping to me. I knew a being came by me. And that being has kept me alive all this while. No man can challenge that. I am a Holy Ghost filled man. That is my higher self. That is my next self. And when I get up into that realm, anything is possible. Can somebody say hallelujah? That is why you need to have the Holy Ghost to function in that realm. Let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. Now when, as long as Adam had this higher self-consciousness, in the state of his higher self, he, he had unrestricted access to fellowship. And that's where Jesus Christ came to show you the kind of fellowship that Adam had with God. Jesus in St. John 5, 19 could say, the son can do nothing of himself. But what is it the father do? And the father loves the son. And sweat the son all that he doeth. So you can't have prop. You can't, your, your faith can't be potent. If you, are not, if you don't have a relationship with God. Your fellowship with God. You see because Jesus. Why his faith was potent. God will tell Jesus what to do next. What he should do the next second. The next minute, the next day, the next week. Hallelujah. That was how Adam was. He didn't just give those names to those animals by himself. He was under divine order. How to name this animal? How to name this animal? So his faith was active. When he fell, he can no longer access fellowship. He now had to come to a mediator. And that's how, that's how we are up to now through a mediator. But how can a true son for you to talk to your father except you have a mediator? That's why the blood age has to come to an end. The age of mediation has to come to an end. Because when sons of God take back that book, when the fullness of God comes in you, hallelujah, praise God, the entire Holy Ghost comes into the church. Hallelujah. Then what is now a mercy seat becomes a judgment seat. Because the entire life of God comes back into the church. Can somebody say amen? And that brings an end to the blood age. Then we would need any longer a mediator to mediate between we and God. That access between you and God in terms of fellowship is taken off. So when Adam lost his higher consciousness, when he fell from this higher consciousness, he lost his access to fellowship. That was why he could now run from God. And how can any Christian or minister have faith when God is not talking to you? You're only talking to yourself. You're only praying to yourself. You can't have faith. Because the voice, the living word, is what gives faith. You can go on your knees and pray and God speaks back to you and God tells you do this, do this, do this and you know you cannot fail. Hallelujah! Can somebody shout hallelujah? When Adam lost his fellowship with God his faith went down. Then his unlimited or his, his, his the free access he had to the tree of life was taken away from him. Because God put cherubims to ban that. Then his dominion to the earth was also lost. He became an ordinary man. He became a five sense man. He, he began to live his life in partial realization. He lost his perfect consciousness. He lost really who he was in the spirit. He became a slave. But God came to restore us back to that. That is why our restoration is not complete until we go back to Eden. Where our fellowship with God is no longer restricted at all. You can access God at any time and God can speak to you. You can speak back to God. Because that is sonship. 
where a man can step on the pulpit and say the Holy Ghost said and say God said these are the men we need for the hour and we are coming up to that church hallelujah the faithful ministry will be men that will have thus share the lord because the prophet said the bride must have been a thus share the lord or she keeps still and this is our season that we can step forward and say god said these are manifested sons these are real sons of god let me see that let me see that let me see that You see, right now, your portion of Holy Ghost. Because the Holy Ghost is our inheritance. Way back before the beginning, God divided himself into world seeds. Those, then, and each portion of those world seeds was God himself. It's, it's like Peter said, who do, uh, Christ said, who do men say, I of man, I am. Peter's revelation was prophetic. He said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. You can't have sons outside Son of Man. So it was the same Jesus, Son of Man, that came back in Acts chapter 2 and divided himself and gave each man a portion of himself, putting them back into the Holy Spirit, bringing them back to their higher self their higher consciousness, their perfect realization, because in that state, you cannot sin. Let somebody say hallelujah. That is your true state of justification, because the Holy Ghost in you, the seed in you, has never seen. You can't impute it to the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is your state of innocence. The Holy Ghost is your state of perfection. And the Holy Ghost is virgin. In the Holy Ghost, you never sin. Hallelujah. When the Holy Ghost comes upon you, sin consciousness goes away. Hallelujah. Praise God. Then you don't have to walk fearing to fall, to make a mistake. No. The Holy Ghost is there. It leads your footsteps. It guides your footsteps. It gives you power. It's a realm of consciousness. Let me see that. People do many wrong things to me, but I'm not just conscious of hurt. That's the honest truth. You can't really hurt me. I don't understand this thing hurt me. I might know you say something wrong, but once I get in my spirit, I feel comfortable. That is what the Holy Ghost does. It will tame your tongue. It will give you self-control. You won't just talk anyhow. Because there's a superman on top of you that controls you. It controls your life. It controls your temperament. You just don't talk anyhow. You are under control. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Can somebody shout hallelujah? You're not some barbarian with any of us. We just get loose. Well, I will tell him off. You don't have the Holy Ghost yet. If you have the Holy Ghost, he won't just let you tell somebody off. He will tell you, keep quiet. Don't do it at a time like this. You are a child of God. Because we have to measure up to the image of Christ. That is our measure. He's the stature, praise God, amen. So my measure is not a man. It's not a minister. It is Jesus Christ. I must be like Jesus. That is my measure. That is my standard. Let me see that. Before I got the Holy Ghost, you know, I stammer. I was very hot tempered. Very hot tempered. That's how I knew when the change comes. I was a very rough guy. But when God filled my soul, I realized all my attitude changed. So I know where I'm coming from. I, I don't care how low down you are. When God comes into you, he raises you up to a next level. You are no longer ordinary. Hallelujah. You become a supernatural being. Let somebody shout amen. That is your work with God. You don't react to issues from the humanistic level. Because you have a higher consciousness. You are 
access things from the level of that consciousness. And tonight, I prayed for you in my room that God Almighty will give you a genuine experience. By the time you leave these meetings, you will know that another being is working with you. Somebody else is working with you. Jesus said, I'll be with you always. You need to experience that. You need to know somebody is working with you. He's talking with you. He's leading you. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ did not leave you comfortless. The comforter is here tonight. The Holy Ghost is here tonight. That is your higher level of consciousness. Once you strike that, you are connected back to God. You become a living soul. Then God is vibrating in you. You feel God in your body. You feel God in your temperament. You feel God in your nature. Hallelujah. Praise God. And that is your desire. The seed of God in you is crying out. I want an experience. Experiential faith. Let me see that. That is man's divine realm. When the prophet came back to make the connection. Until we come to that spot. The Holy Spirit is here tonight. Receive it. When we measure ourselves in the light of our failures and mistakes, we can get nowhere with God. That means my stress tonight is this higher being consciousness. Whether you have the Holy Ghost or not, that's not the issue. Just get the Holy Ghost. Once you get it, it will help you understand a lot of things. We can't talk on these divine things from the humanistic realm. But the whole pre this morning is that we are angelic beings. A man might come back and give you a quote. Abraham said, God didn't make us angels. And we use that quote to rip you of all your angelic substance. That is his seed. But it's like Paul said in Hebrews 1. Which of the angels said he at any time, This is my son. And that was Jesus. So that was Paul calling Jesus an angel. But in sonship, he was higher. Because Paul said, Which of those angels that God could say they should worship him? So even the realms of angels, sonship is different. So in the light of your position in God, we have the same body as angels, but in position. Because we are sons of God. We are made to be just like God. We have the attributes of God inside of us. So positionally, you are higher than angels. But we have the same body, we have the same thing, but in position. That's why it is only you that can do the works that I do. Not angels. And even greater works than this shall you do. That commission is not given to angels. It's given to sons of God. To impart eternal life. Oh, somebody should shout hallelujah tonight. Somebody should say hallelujah tonight. That is who you are. Let me see that. Imagine a Christian who has been ripped of his angelic substance and connection. Amen. 
How do you operate? But Brown said, before the world began, I will let my own Brennan. He said, God created my being, my spirit. I wasn't conscious of that. But I was there before the beginning. And all of you sitting there. And he said, those that have the spirit, he said, they are a part of those angelic beings that rotated off of God, that resisted the devil's lie. That's the connection there. You can't whip that connection at all. So you are candidate of association with the angels. Because God's through from the seed is inside of you. Wherever you are, angels come to minister to you. Angels are your ministering spirits. Because you are in a higher order. We are sons of God. Now tell yourself, I'm a son of God. Say, I'm a son of God. If you believe like this tonight, then the Holy Ghost can follow you. Because this message is the manna. This is what angels eat. If you don't connect angels to the church, they can't come to the church. If you don't connect angels, if you think the people in your church don't have any angelic association, what is an angel coming to do there? Then your people are dead. That is not a living church. A living church must have signs, wonders. God come down there. Can somebody shout hallelujah? That's what I know tonight. Because you are here. God's angels are here. What are they here for? To minister to you. To support you. To give you faith. To give you a church. Because you came from Elohim. You came from Elohim. Let me see that. Let me see that. Like when a child said things are through my ministry because of what I preach. I believe in angels. I believe where I, I am. An angel must visit there. That's what I tell God. Because as I move along, I know angels follow me. In the aircraft, angels follow me. As I go to town, angels follow me. Can somebody shout hallelujah? As I'm preaching, angels follow me. Glory to God, hallelujah. And angels are here tonight. You shall receive the Holy Ghost. You shall be sealed. You shall be baptized with fire. You shall be healed. Because why? You came from God. You are God's attributes. Angels, we are created to serve you. So Jesus was not just an ordinary son. Even though in body, in everything, he has the form of angels. But in status, angels bow down to him. That is where you belong. As I'm speaking tonight, angels will take my word and pack it into your heart. Because that's why they are here. Take the message and pack it to your heart. They are ministry spirit to hears of salvation. Let me see that. Let me see that. Hallelujah! God will drop an atmosphere just now. The sick cannot stay sick. If you sit on your wheelchair, you will step out of that wheelchair. I challenge you tonight. Because you were not born for that wheelchair. You were predestinated to be conformed into the image of his son. Let me see that. Let me see that. We are going to rip the devil tonight in ribbons. He has no place in these meetings. He has no place in your life. Satan is not invited. He has no hallelujah. This meeting is for sons of God. And you are coming out tonight. God be hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. You are going to experience God for yourself tonight. 
my God is not dead. My God is alive. That God still heals. That God still seals. That God still blesses. That's the God I serve. That's the God I worship. That's the God I praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. God will give you a miracle tonight. I challenge every devil in hell to hear my voice. At the sound of my voice, God will give you a miracle tonight. Let the devils come against it. I challenge Satan tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! He can't stand your way. He can't stand your way. He cannot challenge you at all. You are a higher being. The devils are trembling. The devils are shaking. Hallelujah. They will leave you tonight. All this harassment, you are going out tonight as a God over your Pharaoh. All the Pharaoh suppressing you, keeping you down. Today, they are leaving you tonight. They will leave you today. They will leave you today. Let me see that. Glory, 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 glory. The spirit of God is here. We take every spirit, every contrary spirit under our control. In the mighty name of Jesus, let the King of Glory rise up. Let Jesus Christ show up on your behalf. Hallelujah! This is the emblem of your victory. Let me see that. We are not confused. We know where we are coming from. We know where we are going. Now listen. The greatest test for every age. Bram says a theophany actually is the word body. But that has no spirit. Let it preach have its time. Because the seven spirits of your theophany are down here. To look for that sea jam in you. When Paul speaks of the old man and of the new man. Who is the new man? Ephesians 4.24 Put on the new man. Which he says after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Who is that new man? And put up the old man. The old man is this man. This man is not representing you fairly. Do you hear me what I said? This man you are carrying does not represent you fairly. Because that is not you at all. It's falsely accusing you. You have another name. You have a new name. Hey, hallelujah. You have a new name. Oh, Lord of mercy, praise God. I feel fire coming through me tonight. When Saul turned his back on Samuel, God gave him another heart. When he came amongst the prophet, he became another man. By the time you leave me tonight, we are becoming another man. If you believe that, say amen. I am making prophetic utterance tonight. This is divine prophecy. By the time you leave here tonight, you shall become another man. You shall become a superman. A man that can put Satan under control. Satan is not your class. He's not your level. He's far below you. We are sons of God. That is our design. That is our making. That's our creation. Let me see that. There was a time I preached in Congo. After the meetings, 
a pastor brought his son. That right in the meetings, the boy just went paralyzed. They, they told Brother Etienne. So, so the pastor said he must go and call me. Fresh under the anointing. I said, Satan, this is the worst mistake you made. Because when I am in this state, you know what can happen. Lose this boy. And the boy step up and begin to walk. But the agent, you're a witness of that. You, we are in Congo. We are not telling you fables. God is real. God is a king. The supernatural is coming your way. Satan will not escape this anointing. He can't escape this power. He's going to be trapped. He's going to be bound. I feel like speaking in tongues. I feel like going through troops. I am not in my real self. I am not in the spirit. Anything can happen. The Holy Ghost can change you right now. The power of God can fill you right now. Yay! Whatever area in your body that is seeking right now, take authority. Every disease must leave. They will not escape this anointing. The devil is trapped. The enemy is trapped. He can't find a way out. Sons of God are coming back. You can be healed tonight. You can be seen, my sister. The power of God can come upon you right now. The Holy Ghost is present. The power of God is present. Yay! Yay! This is your position. This is where you belong. Now you are in the spirit. You can take authority. You can speak to the devil. You can speak to your sickness. sealed up the supernatural being your day this is your opportunity this was why Inugu came tonight is your night receive the Holy Ghost oh this is your day the Holy Ghost is here right now 
Hall to seal you up. To seal you up. Oh, yes. Sister, whatever is your desire tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay forth my hands upon you. Stand up. Receive what we came for tonight. The power of the Holy Ghost is upon you. Receive the Holy Ghost tonight. Let the power of fire come into your soul. Let God baptize you with fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord God, tonight, as I hold to this sister, she came for a need. Supply the need. May she God be sealed. May she be transformed in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Every pastor, close your eyes, be in the spirit. Because demons are going out right now. The enemy is living right now. Close your eyes. Because as authority in the church, the Holy Ghost is here right now. Close your eyes and get in the spirit. Because I'm taking authority over every foul spirit, over every contrary spirit. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I take authority. I take authority in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cast you out, Satan. I cast out devils, devils of pornography, sex devils. I cast you out. I cast you out. Every demonic oppression, every sex demon, that's in your life tonight. Illegal occupant in your body. Have you booked them tonight? I ask them to go. Go. Smoking demons tonight, they are leaving you tonight. You are called to holiness, you are called to sanctification of the truth. This is the arena of liberty. 
This is your place of worship. This is where you belong. The devil cannot challenge you on this date. Musicians come forward. Some ministers have just been refilled. Some ministers have just been we feel. Come on, Caleb's. Come on, Caleb's. You need some refilling, some recharge. Your battery is draining down.
is falling tonight. The windows of heavens are open. The blessings are falling tonight. The blessings are falling tonight. Every window is open. The door has been opened. Come in, my brother. Come in, my sister. Come in, my brother. Oh, hallelujah. That blessings are falling. That blessings are falling down. He's here. He's here. Receiving the Holy Ghost. Draw me to your Oh, Jesus, I'll rise up like a new eagle. Oh, Father, we praise you. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. My soul said yes. My soul said yes. Oh, yes. Yes, Lord. Yes to the Holy Spirit. Yes to your God. Yes to my deliverance. Yes to my time of visitation. Because you held on with all of your mind. Hallelujah. Child, your cry has woken the master. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Oh, he knows your voice. Lift your head. Oh, that's it's right. time to rejoice. Somebody pray, Lord, come by here. Child, your cry. Somebody's holding on, Lord, come hey. by here. Hey, Somebody's Lord, desperate, hey. Lord. Oh, just one small Lord. One small Lord. One small Lord. Because you prayed all night. Because you held on with all of your might. Child, your heart has woken. Oh, the master. He knows, he knows all he your voice lift your hand you can walk on that water to reach your you can walk on that water because all things are possible Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever oh, you can walk on that water come on your voice come on lift step your out hand step out to reach you can make it you can make it. You can make it. There's a possibility that you can walk on impossible ground. Jesus Christ has made a way. Oh, because you held on. Thank you, Jesus. Of your mind, child, your cry has woken over oh, master. Jesus knows, knows your voice. Lift your hands this time to rejoice. Touch your cry. Have woken the master. Oh, because you prayed all night. Because you held on. With all of your mind, child, your cry, who oh, has woken the master. Lift up your hands. Oh, up your hands oh, he knows your voice. He heard your voice. Lift your hands. He heard your voice. To each one, child, your cry oh, has woken. Master, somebody help me. Oh, oh, lift your voice because you pray. Because you pray. Oh, now. Because you pray. Because you held on with all of your mind. Oh, child, child, your mind. Oh, has walked the master. master. Oh, Jesus, no. 
more time I again. Lift your voices again. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. I love the name. Oh, how I love the name Jesus. I love the name. He is the sweetest name. I know. Hallelujah. Can we say tonight? The preacher couldn't preach anymore. God dropped down, and you are living witnesses. You are the evidence of the manifestation. I want to tell you tonight what took place tonight is it's not just any kind of like a shaking of the body or, or whatever because when his name was called upon his power his his power came down from her and you couldn't hold yourself again what will happen to you you go back testifying that he is still the same yesterday to them forever Let's give him a, a, a hand of praise. So tonight, if you have not been touched, I doubt. But I want to tell you, if he's anointing, the water, the angel came down and stirred the water. And you went right into that pool. You are made whole tonight. You are made whole tonight. You are made whole tonight. So on account of what has happened, the Lord has taken over. Tell me who can stop the blessing of the Lord upon you tonight. No one. Hallelujah. Do you appreciate our brother Johnny Conte? I told you before he came. Because the devil knows. That power. Because he believes in that power of Jesus Christ. He believes in that blood. And you only need to speak it. Somebody had to do that. On your behalf. Just to increase your faith. But he believes. And he believed. And we see the manifestation. And Elohim came down. In our midst. Thank you Jesus. Everyone who says thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Give him a wave of friend and tell him, Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Everyone, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's sing this song. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. As you retract to your seats. Hallelujah for making me whole. Thank you. Many from your heart. Lift up your voices. The great salvation, the great deliverance, the great healing. I woke up this morning all the time. I was having heart palpitation. And then I stood there over there when I was eating. I had to confess to the brothers around me. I said, I'm having some heart palpitations. But I want to tell you why Brother Johnny Conte was preaching. I had to ask God for two things. I asked the Lord to heal my palpitation. 
I asked the Lord to meet my nephew in China and touch his kidney and revive the kidney. And God has stopped the palpitation of my body. I believe God has done the same one for him over there. Thank God for brother Johnny Conte. And I want to thank God for the Holy Spirit. Brother Johnny Conte, God bless you. God bless you. Sister Conte, God bless you. Your family, your church, even your country, you are a blessing. Let's give the Lord a clap of praise. I don't feel like living here. This is the way I feel. Amen. Let us just pray one more time. Father, we thank you for all that you have done in our presence. We thank you for those spoken words of promise that, that activated the manifestation of deliverance. Demons were cast out. People were set free. We can see the joy in the hearts of the people. And tonight, the people know who they are. They are no more afraid of fear anymore. They are no more afraid of sin anymore. Thank you for the healing power that came down among us tonight. Thank you for healing me, Father. Thank you, Father, Lord, for all you have done for your people. And Lord, we say, Lord, bless our brother Johnny Conte. Continue to anoint his, his ministry. 
Continue to give him greater measure of your Holy Spirit. In all things, Lord, take absolute control. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. As you sit on your seat, I want to call on the mass choir while I hand over. Amen. The rest of activities to Brother Femi. You may be seated. Praise God. Amen. Amen. God bless you, church. Amen. Have you been blessed tonight? Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. The mass choir is a representation of choir from different churches. Amen. I'll be singing tonight. Amen. Proclaiming. Amen. The liberty and the freedom that we have in Christ Jesus. Amen. I believe this weekend has been such a wonderful weekend. Has been such a time. Amen. Such a conference with God. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are going out of here with a testimony. Hallelujah. As sons of God that we are coming back. Amen. Hallelujah. And we have a testimony. Hallelujah. That we are going to impact. Hallelujah. Amen. Our communities, our churches, amen, our homes, amen, with the fire of God that we have received in our souls this weekend. Amen, you love the Lord this evening. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory be to God, amen. Amen, as the choir comes forward, amen, let's sing that song. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There. Break every chain, break every chain. You may begin to make your way forward. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Oh, there is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. Oh, there's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. Oh, Break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. If you know the song, sing along with us. That there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Play softly. I feel in my heart that the Lord came down here and his presence is enough for us. So on account of that, we may not take the prayer line anymore. Do you believe that? 
Do you believe that? Hallelujah. Break every chain. Break every chain. Every chain already got broken. Come on, brother. There is power in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and sing it now. There is power. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every. Oh, choir, let me hear you. Oh, there's a army rising now. Oh, there's a hallelujah. Church of the living God. Oh, fans of the army. Hallelujah. You are the invincible army. Oh, to break every chain. Break every chain. Break every Oh, somebody give your testimony. experience. Amen. As a church of a living God and most especially these young men and young women here have had an experience. Like the prophet said even though the house of hell has enlarged his mouth because of the end time but each and every one of these young people hallelujah on their own hallelujah have broken the bars and they have come out on their own hallelujah and we are testifying amen this weekend that no matter the challenge as we go out of here no matter what the enemy brings before us we are gonna hold on hallelujah because we have been brought to a realization of who we are that we are sons of God, yeah. candidates, amen, for association with angelic beings. And tonight we're going to sing our testimony that we are still holding on in spite of all the enemy has done in our lives. Amen. It's the grace of God that has brought us here this weekend. And I believe his grace that has brought us thus far will carry us through. Amen. Join with us as we sing the song tonight. Glory be to God. I'm still holding on. God bless you.
All right, just amazing grace. You want to please step forward? They said I won't make it They said I won't be here today They said I'll never amount to anything But I'm glad to say That I'm on my way And I'm going on and on each day I started out with me, but now they've all gone astray, but I'm still holding on, I'm still, I'm holding I'm going nowhere I'm here to stay Though I've been talked about And come up and criticized I've had to wipe many tears From my eyes But Lord I'm still Yes I am Still holding on
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Sister Amazing Grace. Amen. The next song is I Know Who I Am. Sister Betty and Sister Ruth. Glory to God. Amen. I believe the devil is shaking in his boots. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Let's sing a song while the musicians get ready. See, hamba, hamba, you thena. Kulum, slam, tie, kaya. 
Yesu ini si hamba hamba Yesu si ekaya Yesu ini Oh, testify to somebody. We are the people of God. We came from God. We are going back to God. Singing on the line. We are the people of God. We came from God. Oh, hallelujah. Sing.
Hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen. I believe Joel 2 says hallelujah. In the last days, I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. Amen. And your sons and your daughters, they shall prophesy. Hallelujah. Have you heard the prophecy? Hallelujah. That they know who they are. That they are coming into sonship. Can somebody shout hallelujah? Can somebody say amen, amen? Glory be to God. So what song do you want to sing? I had somebody say every praise to our God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. The angels are worshiping. The elders are worshiping. Hallelujah. And one time John representing you and I. Hallelujah. He saw his name. He saw that he's been redeemed. Hallelujah. And John shouted and everything in heaven. Had John shouting, everything under the sea. Had John shouting, Hallelujah! How about tonight? Amen. Have you been redeemed? Then let the redeemed say so. Somebody say Hallelujah! Come on, chance together. Of worship, one accord, every praise, every praise is to our God. Let's sing hallelujah to our God. Glory, hallelujah is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Let's take it up. Every praise, every praise. To our, to our God, every word of worship, every word of worship. we want to call, every praise, every praise, every praise, every praise. to our God. To our God. That's what I want you to sing. Hallelujah. hallelujah. To our God. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. It's to our God. God. Every praise. Every praise. Every praise. To our God. I don't know what you came to do, but I just want to sing every praise. It's to our God. Every word of worship. With one accord. Every praise. Every praise. It's to our God. testimony God my Savior God my healer God my redeemer yes he is yes he is yes he is yes, he is. yes he is. God my Savior God my Savior God my healer God my redeemer God my redeemer oh yes he is
Share the mass choir. Wonderful, wonderful Jesus. Glory to God, amen. One more time, put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. Amen. For the beautiful time he has given us. Blessed be his holy name. Just before we go, amen. We want to testify in song. Amen. As we leave this place. Amen. Though the road be thorny. Amen. Though the road be rough. Amen. We got adoption in view. Amen. We know where we are going. And our testimonies, we're going to press on. Amen. 
until we come to the full stature of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the song says, City no man, no man tell no never see so Tandasa, no man tell no never see so tender. Tandasa, Tandasa, see so Sizo, Sizo Tan, Nasa, Sizo Tan. Neva, Sizo Tan, Sizo Tan, Sizo Tan, Nasa, Sizo Tan, Nasa. No man tell you no me. She's a tanda. She's a tanda. No man tell you no me. She's a tanda. Tanda. Say tanda. She's a tanda. Let me hear you say tanda. Sing it tanda. No man, no man, no man. No man. No man tell no me. She's a tanda, 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 she's a Noma, 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 No man belly no maver. She's a tender, she's a tender, oh no. No man belly no maver. She's a tender, she's a tender, no man, no man. No man belly no maver. She's a tender, she's a tender, she's a tender, she's a tender. Just keep the motto humming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I believe we are going out of here with a shout. Oh, yes. But just keep the motto humming. As we invite on our Philip Latin day. Let's keep 
give your praise. Hallelujah. God bless you, brother Philip. God bless you, one and all. You appreciate the Lord Jesus Christ. Can we put our hands together for the Lord Jesus Christ? Glory, glory, glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Can we make it a little bit louder? Hallelujah. You surely love the Lord this evening. I know you can never be the same again. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. We just want to appreciate a number of people who have been so wonderful to us in these meetings. Can you find your seat, please? Praise God. The dancing, the, the shouting is going to continue. Praise God. We just need to do this. Praise God. Amen. I know you are ready to sing all night. I know you are ready to praise all night. Blessed be the name of the Lord to tell the wonders of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Because nothing can separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Neither death, no tribulation, nothing shall by any means be able to separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You love him one more time. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Amen. I'll just, I know you don't need me here. I'll just do it quickly and run away. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. We want to appreciate um, the pastors that ministered. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to the Lamb of God. You appreciate our precious brother, AKU, AK. Hallelujah. He started the meetings. And what a wonderful message that was. And you are a witness this evening. Praise God. We want to appreciate also Brother Christopher Mbaza that testified. Hallelujah. What a gift. Praise God. Amen. And also Brother Isaac Ovid. Hallelujah. Brother Isaac, God bless you. You've been a wonderful blessing to us. Praise God. And Brother Theophilus Ovid. Amen. You appreciate him. God bless you, sir. Amen. Hallelujah. What about our precious brother, Raymond Thompson? Glory, glory. Hallelujah. Brother Raymond, God bless you, sir. Amen. We also want to appreciate our precious brother, Olumoiwa Omotoimbo. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't see bro Olu. Praise God, but bro Olu is my friend. He's my father. His message has blessed me so much. Praise God. Shall we put our hands together one more time for our precious brother Olu? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't mind if I if I if I add that Brolo has been such a blessing. Amen. And a father to most of us who don't have fathers and mother. Amen. If not for him, praise God. A lot of us would have scattered away from this. Praise God. Brother Olu, we appreciate you. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. Amen. I know I have witnesses here. Glory to God. Amen. And lastly, our brother Johnny Conte. Hallelujah. What a mighty time tonight. Hallelujah. Brother Johnny, we love you. We appreciate you. Your wife, your church. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to go to the deacons. Amen. Oh, my. <laughs> Forgive me. Amen. Praise God. You appreciate our precious brother daily. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. God caught man. Praise God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. I want to appreciate the deacons. They've been very, very, very wonderful. From all the churches. Amen. We appreciate you. I cannot mention all the names, but we love you. We thank you for the orderliness, for all, everything that you did. May the Lord God richly bless you. Praise God. Amen. Amen. 
Uh, you don't mind if I uh, single and uh, single out and mention brother Moses Thompson? Praise God. Praise God. Amen. I want to thank God for that gift. Amen. He 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 does not just lead. He's, he, he also teaches everyone, and I've had the opportunity to walk with him. Amen. It's so thorough. Carries everyone along. Brother Moses, there's nothing we could have done without you in this meeting. God richly bless you. Blessed be the name of the Lord God Almighty. I want to thank all the ushers, all the helps. Amen. Those who were not even called at all, they came in to give us helping hands. I appreciate you. Amen. We, 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 the anointed bride of Christ assembly in Enugu, we appreciate you from the depths of our heart. Praise God. Amen. I don't want to forget the, the technicians, the musicians. Praise God. Oh, Maestro, God bless you so much. Amen. And um, the song leaders. Brother Moses, Femi, Amen, Victor, Oyendika, praise God, hallelujah. The technicians have mentioned you, praise God, Amen, hallelujah, Amen. I also want to thank all the kitchen staff, praise God. Praise God. Oh, that means it means you enjoyed the food. The food was good. Amen. I want to thank Sister Dayo Akujobi. Praise God. Sister AKU AK. Amen. And all that put their shoulders to the wheel. May the Lord God richly bless you. Praise God. Not leaving out um, all the drivers who took the food, the people to and fro. The hotels amen apostles drivers had to come from outside the nugu to give us a helping hand we appreciate every one of you praise god and um i want to remember also to appreciate the hotel management amen hallelujah amen god 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 gave us victory last year we we, we had um the general manager and this uh, last year last year last year the the gm sorry the agm you know worked so much with us to give us a lot of concession and all that told us the truth about the facilities and all that this this year before this meetings he became the general manager amen and he opened his arms to us welcomed us and gave us virtually everything that we asked for we want to say that may god richly bless the GM of this place. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. And um, how can I forget the worshipers? Every one of you. 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 And I mean you. May the Lord God richly bless you. You appreciate the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. May God richly bless you. Praise God. How can I forget my pastor? Reverend Dr. Charles Akuchobi. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, join me and give him a hand of praise. Pastor, we love you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. You love the Lord Jesus. Amen. You love one another. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. It's so tough to close. Amen. But we have come to the end of the convention. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But before we go out, amen, let's sing the song once and then we pray before we officially close. Singing, I love you, Lord. Amen. I truly believe that you love the Lord. Amen and amen. Just greet one another one more time. Amen. As we as we sing the song, sing in I love you, Lord. 
Precious Heavenly Father, Lord, that is truth that we know, Lord, is that we love you. We love you with all our hearts. Lord, we appreciate you and thank you for this weekend. Lord, what a time of refreshing in your presence. What an anointing that we have felt, Lord. What a unity of the Spirit. What a kindred spirit that we have felt in here, Lord. Lord, you broke down the walls. Lord, the word went forth. And it found a bending ground in our hearts. Lord, we are leaving this place liberated. We are not living this place the same way we came in. But we are living here a different people. We pray, command a blessing upon the, your servants that have ministered, Lord. Lord, we thank you for each and every one of them that have yielded, their Lord, themselves, Lord, unto you to be used as vessels of honor unto you. Father, I pray that you reward them a hundredfold. Bless their wives and their families and their churches, Lord. Lord, may you crown their ministries with charity, Father. Lord, we want to remember the host church and the host pastor, Mother Charles Akujabi. Lord, we pray, Father, that you bless him a hundredfold. Lord, may you strengthen him, Father, and bless his wife, his family, and the church, Father, Lord. Lord, what a day, what a time, what a weekend it has been, Lord. Lord, we will never forget what you have done for us, Lord. For the conference that we have had, Lord, how you spoke to our hearts. And Lord, we are living these grounds like those two disciples on the road to Emmaus. Yes, our hearts did burn within us as you spoke to us along the way. Be with each and every one, Lord. Give us traveling mercies, Lord, to our various destinations, Lord, from far and near, Father God. And Lord, may we meet, Lord, those we've left behind, Lord. Lord, Father God, in one accord, Father God. And may we be a blessing, Lord, in our homes, in our schools, at our places of work, in our communities, in our church, Father Lord. We say that you take all the honor, that you take all the glory for this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time that you gave us this weekend. We ask these things in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. You may be seated. Uh, like Femi said, it's difficult to close. And uh, for young people, 
When I see the young brothers and sisters singing here, we know you have a future. God, the Holy Spirit depending on you for the fight. Because the Bible said, happy is the man that has his quiver full of them. They shall take the battle to the enemy's gate. He said, children are heritage unto the Lord. Happy is the man, happy is the church, happy is the pastor that has his quiver full of them. So we thank God for the Holy Spirit for young people. Thank you. For God bless you. Well, I've, I've cried. I just want to make an announcement, but I want to leave this with you. The ministers have preached, but Abraham said to overcome five things to overcome. You know, the devil is a real devil. You have to know him at his every trick. You have to know he's against you. And you have to know that greater is he that is in you is he greater than he that is trying to stop you. And the last one, he, those, those seven spirits through the seven are already overcome. So that anointing you are going with is seven spirits. They have already overcome. So you are not the one overcoming. They have already overcome. And not only that, you are more than a match for the devil. So young people, may the Lord richly bless you. Go home with that. So please, uh, this announcement here for the Charles want me to make this announcement. The tape is 2,000 Naira. The tape for the convention and I think you just write your name at the desk. Uh, desk there, so just write your name. We'll see how we get back to you. Write your name and phone number, please. Write your name and phone number. Then the next is uh, young people. We want young brothers to help us to pack the instruments. Everything we have here, please. I know you want to have fellowship, but we want to appeal with you that you help the church. Do have the number. It's a happy is the man that has a quiver full of them. So we are happy to have you, young people. Join, the, join the job. Work with us. Okay, God will bless you. Don't bleed. Let's quickly finish this play. Pack everything and protect this beautiful instrument God has given us. Okay, so please, after church, young people, you wait. You come in the brothers. I mean, you come here. So you'll be divided divide into groups. How to arrange these things? Then, last of all, to Lagos, brethren. Uh, the announcement here, we are leaving tomorrow 9 a.m. So, we expect you to pack your things by 8 o'clock, bring your things out. Then, we just by 9, we take off. So, don't be late, because <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what that meant. Everything is over. Carry the anointing to Lagos. Take the anointing. Take the Logos anointing to Lagos. And meet the challenge. Okay, God bless you, Brother Moses. Thank you. Brother Femi, God bless you. Thank you, Brother Moses. Amen. You appreciate Brother Moses? Amen, amen. We have some lost and found. Um, if this watch belongs to you, um, kindly see me after. And also, a phone is also missing and has been found. Kindly see Brother Emechita of Fondu. Amen. God richly, richly, richly bless you. Amen. Oh, I'm bound, I'm bound for higher ground. There's no devil's gonna hold me down. Got to say, I'm on my way. I'm bound for higher. I'm bound, I'm bound for higher ground. There's no devil gonna hold me down. Got to say, I'm on my way. I'm bound for higher. Oh, yes, I'm bound. I'm on my way I'm bound, I'm bound Higher ground 
There's no devil's gonna hold me down Not to say I'm on my way up Higher ground Oh, I'm bound, I'm bound For the higher ground There's no devil gonna hold me down Not to say I'm on my way For higher ground No devil
Every demon will have to flee. You see, when we come in the name of Jesus, oh, tell me who can stand before in the precious name of Jesus, we have the victory. But it did. Didn't have to do it, but 